<clears throat> this whole idea of, of Christ has lived, the ideas lived among us, is also direction and inspiration. Another big word in here, big meaning. This time we're in Hebrews 12. In verse 2 it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. I love that line even in English. The author and finisher of our faith. It was, it's just like Jesus wrote the book on your life. He knows how it's going to start. He knows how it's going to end. He knows his plan from beginning to end. Jesus knows uh, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Knowing what was coming, he went through it. He wrote the book on your life. Uh, it sounds great on its own. But the word author is actually a bigger word, once again, in, in the uh, whole Greek idea. And the word would be archigos. Archigos. And, and to give you an idea how this fits, let me just kind of make up a little story uh, to get the mental picture. Is, is imagine this. Here we are, and we all want to, uh, we raised on stories. There's this promised land out there, and we all want to go there. Maybe we're kind of like the Hebrews in, in ancient times. We just want to go there. But between where we are now and that place is some really bad territory. We have to go through areas where there are vicious enemies and, and you, you'll be under threat of attack. Uh, you'll have to go through an area of, of distractions where uh, maybe like the Sinbad with the sirens, you know, there's something trying to seduce you in a lethal way, distract you from your trip. Uh, we have to cross featureless deserts and oceans where we could very easily lose our way and, and then just die in the elements. It sounds almost impossible, except there's the legend of this one person and this one person with it. It's impossible. No, because this person did it. He made it. That would make him an archegos. That would make him the one who led the way, who blazed the trail. Who, who covered new turf. But imagine this person who made it also comes back and he starts this foundation uh, where they give out maps and GPS coordinates of, of if you, here's the route I went. Here's how I went. And if you follow my map, you'll get through the territory safely. And uh, there's places where you can stop and rest and all of this stuff. If you just follow the trail I blazed, that would be an archigos. This person who's already done it can show you how, gives you the map. He's the entry point. Uh, and that's one of the things. The word really was used for a good governor, a good leader in a country. This guy was showing the way safely. And an archigos is the one who gives you an entry point. He says, this is where you start. This is how you can do it. I'm opening the way for you. He blazes the trail. He, he shows you a safety. All of these things. And Really, that adventure maybe sounds in dramatic form, but isn't that like life in general, really? Living is a risk. Everyone in this room, the reason you're in here is because you did hear of a promised land. And your hope is that through all the risks of, of just living, I mean, just the fact, if you're in here breathing, you're taking a risk. You never know. You might go home with someone's cold. You never know. Living is a risk. But this archigo says, if you live this way, if you follow this path through life, if you do this, uh, you will make it safely to that promised land. And of course, he's an entry point because he is the Savior. He is the one who allows us to approach God in the first place. So in all of these ways, that's what Jesus is, an archigo. And the only reason he can be one is because he came down and he walked among us. He walked among, among us. Uh, the fact that he literally existed. You know, it, it's an interesting thing. Um, we were talking about this in the other service too, the, uh, that there are courses you can take that, um, depending on the university, I know there was one at the university I went to, I don't know if it was through sociology or philosophy or something, but that Jesus never was a literal person. Uh, and in this course, it had to do with... Uh, he was actually the product of hallucinogenic mushrooms. Now, these guys took, I guess, magic mushrooms and came up with this big idea of Jesus, I guess. But really, to buy into that is some really willfully ignorant thinking, considering uh, the footprint of God in history 
and in sacred history, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff you have to discount to swallow something like that. However, even though it might be willfully ignorant, it's a, it's a, a uh, fantastic strategy if you want to be a Christ detractor. Because if you can discount a literal Christ, if you can show that he never really walked on his earth, if you can convince people of that, you've basically neutered the gospel. It is all built on this archegos, this, this God who walked among and showed us how to do things and proved that it could be done in all of this. Uh, that's what it would mean. That's the consolation we have. Life is, is uh, tough. Uh, you're going through challenges. We have that consolation. We know that Christ went through it too. We pray to a God who knows what we're going through. We're praying to someone who knows when it's been enough and in and, and God's timing changes things. Uh, it's a God who, who can uh, show us what it looks like. And this is really the life of Christ. If you want to know what a life looks like when God is in control, you just look at Jesus. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Uh, Christ alive. Christ alive. Remember that song, uh, Brenda, Brenda Anderson, um, Just uh, she kind of um, uh, confesses. I said, remember that song, What If God Was One Of Us? And she said, oh, thanks. Now I'll be humming that all day. So it says she knows the song. But that song was, was really a provocative thing. What if God was one of us? The beauty of this is that if you want to know what that would look like, all you have to do is read the Gospels. That's what it looks like when we have an archegos. That's Christ has lived. That's Christ among us. Some amazing, amazing, powerful, profound things.